Good morning and welcome to Val and Ed's Adventures. As you can see, it is snowing here in Ohio. But that's not going to stop us from going on an adventure. Where are we going today, babe? Well, what's my very favorite thing to do? Well, your very favorite thing to do would be sleep. Besides that? Oh, besides that, probably traveling. Exactly. So today we're going to go to the AAA Travel and Vacation Expo. All right, well, let's go. Okay, so it is some time later. Um, we have finished at the Travel Expo. And we're going to be honest, we debated whether to post this video or not. We weren't sure what to expect from the Expo. Um, we had a really good time. We talked to a lot of people at different booths. I have a bag full of brochures for future adventures. Um, but the actual vlog wasn't probably too exciting for our viewers. Right. So we appreciate you watching. Um, just know that it was, it was kind of educational for us. And we did some good planning. And we have some fun things coming up. Including next weekend, we're going on a little Ohio road trip. We're going to head up to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I'm really excited about that one. So please check it out next week. All right, we made it here to the Ohio Expo Center for the Travel and Vacation Expo. Let's go in and see what's going on. Okay, we just got in here to the expo. It's a little overwhelming. There are tons of booths, vendors, there's cruise lines, there's travel agents, tons of stuff. So we decided we're gonna start at one end of the building and kind of make our way and show you all the cool booths that we see. I'm good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Look, London to Paris. Our next big trip, hopefully. We'll see. Got my first brochures from the first booth. United States and Canada and Europe. I got a car scraper. New Hampshire, a state we haven't been to. I'm entering the wind. Yes. What time of year was it? We've been here. It's that African wildlife safari tour. If you missed that video, scroll back a few and check it out. Babe, I want to go there. I have a feeling that we will soon. Okay, 
get our Let's see what we're missing in our own city. I was like, oh, get the blue, please, it's okay. <laughs> Hocking Hills is actually where we spent our wedding night. It's a beautiful area of Ohio. We will probably head down there at some point this year. Now we're gonna watch this show and see some animals from the Columbus Zoo. Tim is their cousin. He's a little bit bigger, but mostly the males, they just have a lot more fur and that makes them look real big and they get kind of real fluffed up. She sort of looks like a little bear when she sits like that, doesn't she? Now, that tail that you're looking at is fully prehensile. Now, prehensile, what's that mean? Anybody want to raise your hand? Is that? You can use it, you can grip with it, right? So with that tail, she can actually support her whole body weight. I've got to explain something about this animal. This animal here, this is Scarlet. Scarlet's an 11-month-old red kangaroo. Now, I can say and tell you without a shadow of doubt, there is no at like 13 years old. That's what this is right now. So don't, she looks like a baby. We can call her a Joey because she's in a pouch. But um, mom was, was done with her at about the six month mark, which is, which can be, which is pretty average. It's a little bit young for mom being like, all right, you know, I've got to make more room. But six months old, not too bad. The problem was, or the reason that we have her was at the same facility that we got her from, there was another kangaroo that we have named Bindi. This is obviously an American bald eagle, right? How many of you guys are paying attention? No, no, no. This is a, oh, very affectionate penguin. Now, this penguin has a name. You'll see it on her little uh, bracelet that she's got on there. Her name is Chovy. Uh, we named her after an anchovy, obviously. In our department, our, an our animal programming department, we have a separate colony of penguins that when you go to the zoo and you go see our penguins at the Columbus Zoo, what you're seeing, those are Humboldt penguins, those are South American. They do for our department, for animal programming. We got three eggs from another facility. Uh, one, only one ended up being viable, and we were candling them, which where you hold the little egg up and you could, I mean, I've seen her from when she was just like a little string and then a clump of cells in that egg to where she is now. And you would go down there, you'd have to turn the eggs, uh, you'd have to check temperatures. So this is Grover. And Grover is called a hyacinth, a hyacinth macaw. Um, some of you may, you know, the, the movie Rio, they had blue, the, the, the blue bird from that movie. This is sort of what uh, it, it, that is based on. Um, they should have just gone with the hyacinth. I think she actually looks better than blue from Rio because of the yellow that she has. That's actually her skin that is that bright yellow. So here's Jeff. Jeff's getting carried around by James very nicely, looking all proper and smiling. Jeff is a, a little American alligator that we brought out for you guys. Um, probably, not probably, definitely going to have Jeff out at the end if you guys want to meet Jeff, get to touch Jeff, see what Jeff feels like. I love alligators. Very, very cool. Very ancient animal. Um, this animal, where do they live? Sort of disputed. We've had farms that, you know, have been housing alligators very, very big. Uh, a lot of those places when you go and you see alligators, they're... They're, they're big boys. They're kind of, they've kind of been fed up a little bit to sort of be big. Most of them kind of aren't going to be, if you're going to have like a 11 foot or 12 foot alligator, you're not going to be in that, you know, 1800 mark. You may be close to like 900, you know, we're, we're talking almost twice, 
twice as tiny. This next animal coming out, for me, wasn't it exceeded expectations. You know, you, when you think about sloths, okay, you kind of think about an animal that just really doesn't do anything. Um, sloths do stuff, believe it or not, and uh, they can move really, really fast. Bite, believe it or not, sloths have teeth inside of their mouth that would surprise you. Um, they don't technically have teeth, so I said the wrong word already. They're, they're technically toothless mammals. So sloths, armadillos, and anteaters are, are all on the same. Inside of Sid's mouth, he's got four triangular shaped, constantly growing teeth. Um, to the point where if, if we don't give Sid enough things to keep him ground down, like he'll get vampire fangs. Like they'll start to come out his mouth a little bit. Um, we do try to do our best, like, to give him a lot of different options as far as stuff to chew on. But if we need to go in and do a, a, a tooth trim, it's, it's literally quicker than a nail trim on a sloth.